Hello everyone, I'm Randy Suarez, aka Silvercore. Today we're back here with another reaction. This time we're reacting to a subscriber's re uh, request, Assassin's Creed, Who it, Who's the Dumbest Assassin by Master Assassin. And um, let's just say, uh, I'm curious about this one, because as y'all may know, I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed. So, if you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to Master Assassin. I will leave the original link to this video down below in the description so you can watch it uninterrupted. And further ado, let's see who's the dumbest assassin. Let's get started. Uh, of all the categories we've ranked, smartest assassin, deadliest, wisest, strongest, hmm. let's be honest. This is the one we've all been looking forward to. The video where we get to target a single assassin and just bully them. I love my fellow assassins, but we gotta keep their egos in check and just be thankful we're only talking about assassins in this video. You're safe, demigods, for now. <laughs> but everybody feel free to reminisce about some of the assassins' dumbest moments in this series. We might as well all be Templars today because some mm -hmm. of these assassins have done some dumb stuff. Also, just a reminder for these videos, I'm only talking about the protagonists and those who were actually assassins. Yeah. Let's start with Altair. Honestly, Altair, I'm sorry we even have to talk about you. Yeah. He, yeah. Early Altair, when he was at his most brashest, he let his ego guide his blade, which is never a good idea. So, yeah in this discussion. Altair's Because technically he was a master assassin at the age of 26. And at the same age got demoted all the way to basically grunt because of his fuckeries. Obviously not the dumbest. He's easily one of the smartest. That doesn't mean he hasn't ever done dumb things before yeah. though. He yeah. killed an innocent man in cold blood to start AC1. He ego challenged Robert de Sablo mm -hmm. when he easily could have stuck to the shadows and assassinated him. And he brought mm -hmm. the Templars back to Masyaf Castle. Not mm -hmm. his best day admittedly, but obviously he gets much better as AC1 progresses and especially in Revelations where he becomes a wise and powerful assassin. Yeah. Again, Ezio, I'm sorry I even have to offend you with this. To my knowledge, Ezio hasn't really done many dumb things. Maybe at the beginning of AC2, where he was just constantly getting into fights and trouble. Yeah, when he was young. That makes sense, because he was young and brash. But I mean, that's before he's even an assassin. I don't think we can count that. I mean, storming the Vatican against an army of Templars and the Pope who wields a piece of Eden may sound like a really dumb idea, but Ezio don't care. Nobody gonna stop him. So yeah, obviously Ezio isn't the dumbest. Now I think we all know Connor isn't the smartest assassin, but I wouldn't go as far as saying he's- He's not the smartest assassin, but when it comes to tactics and everything, and when it comes to brutality, Connor. Definitely him. The dumbest. Again, some may consider facing down an entire army by yourself dumb, but to Connor, that's a nice evening stroll. I think because Connor is so strong and skilled, he doesn't really need a lot of these incredibly well thought out mm. plans, although he does still have some. But just take the Battle of Bunker Hill, for example. He takes out the entire British fleet, then rushes right at the commander across the battlefield. Dumb? Nah, nah. It's called being a badass. Yeah. Now, Connor's grandfather certainly had his fair share of dumb moments. Oh, yeah, He's a definitely. Pirate. It's kind of what they're known for doing stupid things for glory and riches mm -hmm. like for example killing an assassin stealing his robes and infiltrating a templar estate and getting in the middle of a world-threatening plot and conflict or maybe we're just the dumb ones and didn't see the genius in edward's plans i mean if he didn't accidentally stumble upon a plot to control the world who knows what would have happened edward did also leave his girl and his daughter albeit unknowingly to be a mm -hmm. pirate for a few years but eh, who cares everyone knows privateering is more important than fame Here's the thing, Edward James Kenway is still one of my favorite assassins. Now, what he have done was dumb before he realized ever the error of his ways. Yes, very dumb. Instead of trying to say, hey, I don't want to be in where we are now, but I do want to make a better life for us. Instead of coming, he, instead of compromising, he was basically stroking his own ego. Emily, like what? 
Arno's an assassin driven by emotion. It can be powerful, but also a very dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, from pretty much everything we've ever seen, we know revenge never ends well. It definitely causes Arno to be brash and disobedient, killing yeah. targets without permission, hardly ever consulting the council, and literally walking a member of the enemy faction right into the top secret headquarters. Yeah, even I'm like, bro, you, you, you could have been smart, more smart about that Arno, bro. Not your best idea, Arno. And it essentially caused Mirabeau's death. He mm -hmm. also believed a random silversmith and went to assassinate the Templar Grand Master without first consulting the Creed and ended mm -hmm. up killing the one person who tried to warn De La Serre of the possible assassination attempt until, you know, Arno left it at his house to sneak into a party. And he put the guy who orchestrated the assassination into the new Grand Master position that Arno just vacated. Yeah, bad Ooh. luck, I guess. I think Arno's love for Elise causes him to do some really dumb things as well. See, and I would say this. To me personally, Assassin's Creed Unity had made an amazing movie. But as a game, it's so many flaws that you could easily point out besides the uh, besides the game mechanics at the time. And I'm like, bro, y'all could have done so much better when it comes to this. Oh, like letting Germain get away or completely disregarding the creed and breaking a couple mm -hmm. tenets. Obviously, Arno learns and develops a lot, but he certainly has a few dumb moments. Yeah. Evie Fry is obviously not the dumbest assassin. No. Her whole character is based on the idea of her being very book smart and good at creating Fry. and executing plans. Jacob Fry, however, oh boy. Yeah. So with Jacob, he has a lot of dumb moments in Syndicate, and I mean a lot. He's extremely reckless, brash, arrogant. He's essentially made to be the polar opposite of Evie. She's the smart, collected assassin. He's the reckless and aggressive one. And sometimes it feels like this character solely exists to make jokes and bring comic relief. I do, however, think there's a little more to Jacob. He's clearly having troubles with fitting the mold of an assassin. He's not your traditional assassin like Evie, per se. He's trying to find how and who he is in this world. It's part of the reason I think Maxwell Roth is such a cool villain in Syndicate. To Jacob, Roth is exactly how Jacob wants to be. He wants to just let and that's why I like him when when we got to the uh, <clears throat> got to the DLC, the Jack the Ripper. He actually toned down all of that. He actually became a master assassin with that was wiser than he was back in his in his twenties. And it's one of those things that is was his regret when it came to training Jack loose with no responsibilities and create chaos. Mm. Only Jacob realizes the extremes Roth takes to which allows him to find some balance between the chaos and responsibility. I still think it's quite obvious Jacob does some really dumb stuff and often leaves Evie to clean up his messes, mm -hmm. but there's definitely more to Jacob than just a reckless comic relief guy who's only there for the purpose of making a bad joke. Yeah. It's safe to say he's not a great assassin and all things considered, you can tell he doesn't really want to be one sometimes as his personal personality just doesn't fit he doesn't like the rules and responsibilities he's an interesting but this is the when i say that it's due to the times at the time this is victoria england before the whole uh jack the ripper stuff he was allowed to this is during the uh, industrial era <clears throat> excuse me i'm putting the words together he and for his character to be loud and brash makes sense for him at the time. Now, him and Evie being polar opposites, facts, all facts. Like towards the end of the game, he realized his mistakes, what he was doing. And it's literally at the end of the game, like literally towards the end. Like he was making, he was making big messes that he should be cleaning it that he should have been cleaned up personally instead of leaving it to his sister. He made it, he basically, even though they don't know, the people don't know his name per se, but they know that, oh, someone who, who did this messed up a lot. 
character and has a little more depth <coughs> than I think mm -hmm. most people may realize, but he's still obviously not a good assassin. He's too reckless, disobedient, mm -hmm. and irresponsible, so therefore, Jacob, I'm gonna crown you with the dumbest assassin, yeah. and you know what? I bet he wears that proudly. This kind of turned yeah. into a character analysis for a second, but I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Yeah, I what do, do have you think to agree about with Jacob that. Fry? Who do you think the dumbest assassin is? And what are some of the dumbest things assassins in this series have done? I'm really curious what you all think. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and can. All right, definitely leave a like. Yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not surprised it was Jacob because Jacob was very brash. He broke a lot of not broke a lot of rules per se. But he did not understand the consequences of his own actions because he was too busy trying to create, basically creating a uh, gang and all that other stuff. Like trying to take over London to fight the Templars, but and not, how can I put it, do it smartly. And it leaves a lot of plot holes, leaves a lot of things for Evie to clean up. So, anyway... Thank you to the fellow subscribers that asked me to react to this. So uh, this is re really good. So if you have any, if anyone, if anyone wants me to react to anything, leave in the comments down below or DM me on my Twitter and Instagram. Let me know which I want me to react to. So that being said, if you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Master Assassin. I will leave the original link to this video down below in the description. You can watch it uninterrupted. Also, link to my Twitter and Instagram too, so you can DM me. So, um, that being said, please take care of yourselves and peace out. Kakui.